Hi, I'm Greg Court from AEC Magazine. We're here today at Next Build for our London event. I'm here with Chris Jara, Product Manager from Lenovo for the new P360 Ultra, a super compact workstation that has quite a lot of performance. First of all, Chris, nice to see you. Can I just ask you to give me a quick overview of the product? Sure, so this is a ultra small chassis packed full of performance. Our design point was not to compromise on performance. Typically, when you go smaller, you're always asking yourself, well, what did they compromise on? Essentially, this is a truly optimized workstation design that allows us to maximize the cooling for the processor, for the GPU, and the storage. So really, this is a remarkable design that allows us to leapfrog the competition in terms of performance and chassis size. The big differentiator, as far as I understand, it's got a very powerful graphics card in there more powerful than machines of comparable size. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what it has? Sure, well, let's, let's get right into it. So yes, aside from the Core i architecture, 12th generation Intel, we do support NVIDIA's Pro Graphics, their RTX A5000 class GPU in here. Very powerful, can be used in many different types of workflows, and uh, we're very happy to be able to have partnered with NVIDIA to be able to deliver such a great solution. Memory's a big differentiator. I know a lot of uh, small desktop workstations have 64 gig, which is fine for BIM-centric workflows, and it's fine for some other workflows like ProViz and reality modeling. But when you start getting with bigger data sets, some of the some of the data sets that we use to test workstations at the magazine go up to 128 gig. This does 128 gig, so that's going to be a big differentiator, I, th I think. That's correct. 128 gigs of DDR5 memory. There are four SO DIMM slots in this uh, particular architecture, and uh, you will see that that is an industry first. That's why the competition is at 64 gigs. They typically only have two SO DIMM slots. We've got four in this uh, this platform right here. Serviceability is a big thing on this. I've seen the machine pull apart. Yes. You can you just pull the cover off and you can get access to either side of the motherboard, which I think is great. I mean, it's 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 so easy. I, I can I can show that to you right now. So essentially, it just slides out from a serviceability perspective. Uh, this is the outer shell, and then you've got both sides. So on one side, you've got the processor. GPU would go here. On the other side, you have your storage and you have another PCIe slot for expandability. That's another thing that I'll mention. You know, it's hard to find something of this size that has that PCIe slot expandability. We have two slots on this platform. So plenty of expandability, plenty of performance, very flexible for really any type of uh, configuration that you'd be looking for. The big question I've got is, was this innovation of going smaller and keeping it powerful, was that just driven by Lenovo wanting to push the boundary of what you can do on desktop workstations? Or were your customers asking for small workstations with no compromised performance? The past two years with the pandemic has changed a lot of the ways that people do work, whether it's home, in the office, on the road. And so really it's, it's a combination of both. It's the intersection of our customers asking for something that is smaller, more portable, uh, and the intersection of innovation, which is something Lenovo does very well. And so, those two come together and we have the P360 Ultra. The, the other thing that um, Chris Rufo mentioned on stage a minute ago was about using this on site. If you're doing point cloud processing, for example, you don't want to have to push your data up to the cloud to process it. You can actually process it on this machine. Again, is that something that your customers have been asking for? Is, is uh, having a workstation a small package, is that important for them on the construction size? Yeah, so it's, it's about doing more of the compute on the edge, per se, instead of uh, taking your massive amounts of data, shooting it over to the cloud where the processing and compute happens remotely, and then it gets shot back at you. This can actually handle a lot of the uh, heavy workflows on the edge and do the compute on the edge. That way, minimizing the amount of connectivity necessarily that you need to go back and forth to, to and from the cloud. Finally, one thing that intrigues me a little bit is you can have two GPUs on here, not the A5000 class, you can have two T1000s. Are you looking in the future for virtualization to be able to virtualize this machine so you could support two users off the same machine using GPU pass-through? Yeah, you know, one of the things about innovation is we have to make sure we future-proof our design. Yeah. This is not a platform that we want to launch and not necessarily make it compatible for future use cases or future workflows. So definitely the amount of memory we support in this system, the class of GPUs that we support and the types of configurations with those GPUs, such as your dual T1000s, uh, are something that are built into the design to allow us to ensure that our users that purchase this today can continue to use it in the future 
with the way the, the work landscape is changing. Why would a buyer of your product choose to use that as a remote graphics solution rather than getting a dedicated data center rack mount remote workstation? Well, I, I think you just answered that. If you have a big old data center rack mounted solution uh, at the side of your desk, uh, that would be very expensive to move around the world, right? And noisy. And noisy versus uh, the Ultra right here. So you think that some architects could have a collection of these on a desk in their table or in a, maybe a room and they could just remote into those whether they're working from home or whatever. Certainly, certainly. And, and the size actually lends itself to being deployable around the world real easy. I mean, I brought this in my backpack in my carry-on from the States. And so it's, it's, it's not heavy at all. It's very lightweight, very portable and uh, very powerful. So definitely a good solution for those architects that need to be on the move. Cool. Well, thank you, Chris. It's been uh, really good to get an overview. And, Great to uh, I'm meet looking you. forward to I'm looking forward to getting one to test, awesome. which we'll do in the magazine soon. So. We'll do. We'll send one to you. Cool. Excellent. Thank you.